a fishery scientist believes a good model uh, a good model for the population size of a certain species species of fish is that the population will grow at a rate proportional to the size of the population at any time okay so this is a huge sentence what is what is the scientist believing that uh, the rate at which the number of fish of a certain species will grow will depend on the population it's very logical okay so the more fish you have the rate of change or the rate of increase would be depending on that uh, number of fish at that particular time okay so you got two situations there are 400,000 fish now and the scientists believe there will be 600,000 fish in two years time so write this model as a differential equation using p to represent the number of fish and t to represent the number of time represent time in years okay so p is for f number of fish and t is for years so i can write like this dp by dt dp by dt is proportional to p this is what it means the first sen the first full sentence means this the rate of change in the number of fish with respect to time in years is proportional to the fish which is p now when you change this uh, when you change the proportional sign to an equal to sign you have to put the constant of proportionality so that is dp by dt is equal to k times p where k is the constant of proportionality so k is the constant of proportionality i'll write proportionality in short okay now using uh, Okay, so dividing both sides by P, I can say 1 over P dP and multiplying both sides by dT is K dT. So this is integration of 1 over P dP is K times integration of dT, which implies natural log of, I'm not putting the modulus because P, we are, as, let me put P first in modulus, which is K times T. Now, P is always going to be positive, so this modulus doesn't have any relevance here. So, this implies that uh, natural log of P is equal to K times T. A natural log has a base of E, so writing this in the power form, P is E to the power KT. Uh, you can say, uh, put plus C here plus c the constant of integration okay so yeah this will become uh, this is an arbitrary constant so we can say instead of adding adding by say c it's same as multiplying by a constant k yeah. so uh, am i doing any mistake no that's fine okay so what i'm going to do is so this is same as as plus c is you're adding a constant which is arbitrary which you don't know is same as multiplying by a constant so it's ke to the power kt so this is your differential equation okay where k this capital k and small k so let me change instead of capital k let me put a different constant it's confusing so you can say ae to the power kt okay where this has been replaced by a okay so that's the first question done okay so this is the differential equation okay so now what's the next question estimate the number of fish in five years time okay now before that to do this we'll have to find a and k okay so at time zero okay that is let's read this question there are four hundred thousand fish now that means this is time zero this is your p Okay, so let's write that. So when time is zero, your P is 400,000. This is one situation. And the next information is when T is zero, your number of fish, is, fish the number of fish is 600,000. So these two will help us to find A and K. So let us put first this into this equation. So this will become 
400,000 is equal to A times E to the power 0 because K times 0 is 0 and this is nothing but 1. E to the power 0 is 1. Therefore, A is 400,000. Okay, so we have found the first constant A. So, this implies P changes to 400,000 times e to the power kt. So let us put this in this equation. So this is 600,000 is equal to 400,000 times e to the power 2t. 2t. Okay. So now you can divide both sides by 400,000. So 600,000 divided by 400,000 is equal to e to the power 2t. So this is nothing but 6 divided by 4, which is 1.5. So 1.5 is e to the power 2t. Now taking natural log of both sides, natural log of 1.5 is equal to 2t times natural log of e. Now again, this has a base of e, so this again changes to 1. So I'll go here now to save space. So this is natural log of 1.5 divided by 2. Oh, where did a k go? Oh, I'm doing a mistake here. Uh, yes, this should be 2 k's. Good. I think good to find your mistake. So I was wondering where where is the other constant. So this should be k. At times I get too excited and I lose track. It's always good to model that there's nothing wrong in getting something wrong. Okay, so I like my students to understand that I'm not perfect. So this is this is k. So k is just divided by this. I want to save this as a number. So I'll use my calculator. Where is my calculator? Okay, here is my calculator. So menu run natural log of 1.5 divided by 2. That should be a huge number, and I want to save this as A. So you use this arrow key. If you have a graphic calculator, you can use this arrow, alpha A. That will save this as, and then if you press alpha A, that will calculate, will give you that number. So this I'm going to say is equal to, so A is equal to A, okay, where A is nothing but natural log of 1.5 divided by 2. So this, okay, I haven't answered this question yet. So this whole thing will change to P is equal to 400,000 400,000 times e to the power at. Okay, so now we'll answer the question. What's the question? What's the question? Uh, no, this is the question. In how, uh, when t is 5, what's the number of fish or how many fish would you have? So the question is t is equal to 5, what is p? So that's simple, so p is equal to 400,000 times e to the power 5a because t is 5. So now I'll use the calculator. So this is 400,000 times shift e bracket phi times alpha a okay and that is one million okay so if you round this to one significant figure this is one one zero two two seven zero so let me write that one one zero two two seven zero so this is one one zero two two seven zero am i right yeah one one zero two two seven zero writing as a whole number so this if you want to write as one significant figure this is one million one two three yeah so this is in one significant figure so in one significant figure after five years yeah the number of fish will become one million because now why did i write in one significant figure the question is uh, these numbers are in one significant figures okay so let me answer the final question. Estimate the number of months 
it will take the population size to double. So they are saying if P becomes 800, because you started at 400,000, if P is 800,000, how many months does it take? So let us put this, let's change color, it's very monotonous. So I'll put this into this. So 800,000 is equal to 400,000 times e to the power 80. Okay, so dividing both sides by 400,000, this is 2 is equal to e to the power 80. Now divide and uh, taking natural log of both sides, natural log of 2 is equal to a p times natural log of e to the base e. Now this is nothing but again 1. So t is natural log of 2 divided by a. So let me use a calculator. Natural log of 2 divided by alpha a is 3.419 years because the question was we had to write t as years. So 3.419 years. Now this I want to write this as months. So this is not four and three years and four months. Okay, this is where most of the students make a mistake. This is not four years, three years, four months. So this is three years and 0.419 years. Now, if you this, if you want to change this into years, you have times that by 100. So I took 12, zero because one year has 12 months. So 0 0.419 times 12. This is five months. So this is three years. That is 36 months plus five months. One year has 12 months. So three years has 36 months. So it'll take 41 months for the fish population to double. 